Welcome back to Nuclear Proliferation Explained. I'm William Spaniel. Today's topic is the security model. We're in a unit that is explaining from a theoretical perspective why countries do and do not develop nuclear weapons. The security model is perhaps the most popular explanation, and it has a rather simple prediction. States that have great security threats build nuclear weapons. And you can think about why that argument makes sense. The main purpose of nuclear weapons is coercive. If I have nuclear weapons, I may convince you to do things that you might not otherwise do. The threat of a nuclear attack might compel you to take actions you might not otherwise do. And similarly, my threat of nuclear retaliation in response to you doing something offensively may deter you from taking those sorts of actions. So countries that have lots of those sorts of concerns, many different policy disputes, and care more about those sorts of policy disputes are more inclined to develop nuclear weapons. And on the flip side of that coin, you do not need to build nuclear weapons if you don't have any of these kinds of disputes. The security model has ample empirical support. Think, for example, why the United States became the first country to test a nuclear weapon, Trinity. The U.S. was embroiled in the world's largest war, and they believed that having a nuclear weapon could help them win. Thus, we have the Manhattan Project, the successful testing of a nuclear weapon, and then two uses of nuclear weapons offensively. But these security concerns spiraled downward. The next country to develop a nuclear weapon was the Soviet Union. And the main issue there was the growing rivalry at the beginning of the Cold War between the Soviet Union and the United States. In fact, if you look at Stalin's own writings and thoughts, we see something interesting. He said that he had a single demand of you comrades, provide us with atomic weapons in the shortest possible time. You know that Hiroshima has shaken the world. The balance has been destroyed. Provide the bomb. It will remove a great danger from us. In other words, Stalin is suggesting that proliferation begets proliferation. The Soviet Union needs a nuclear weapon because the United States has a nuclear weapon. The only way to counteract it is to acquire a nuclear deterrent itself. That spiral continues. The United Kingdom and France developed nuclear weapons because of security concerns with the Soviet Union. China developed nuclear weapons because of security concerns with the United States. India developed nuclear weapons because of security concerns with China and Pakistan. Pakistan developed nuclear weapons because of security concerns with India. Even outside that particular nuclear spiral, the security model is still providing good coverage. Think about Israel. Israel develops nuclear weapons because it is concerned about its Arab neighbors. Israel is a very small country, and if invaded, it could potentially be taken over very, very quickly. Having a nuclear weapon would stop that. South Africa is also outside that particular nuclear spiral, but still fits within the security model's framework. Recall that South Africa's motivation for developing a nuclear weapon was to protect itself from civil war spillover. South Africa shares a border with Angola, and at the time, the MPLA was fighting a civil war against UNITA. Cuba was intervening on behalf of the MPLA, and South Africa was intervening on behalf of UNITA. South Africa was concerned that perhaps the civil war may come within its borders, and it had a rather convoluted plot to use nuclear weapons to protect itself from the consequences of that. Namely, the idea, you will recall, was that South Africa would declare itself a nuclear power if the civil war were to spill over, and hope that the West would bail out South Africa because South Africa might use nuclear weapons otherwise. Nevertheless, despite that convolution, the key thing here is that South Africa was security-minded when it developed nuclear weapons. And North Korea, the most recent member of the club, developed nuclear weapons because of security concerns with the United States and South Korea. So all told, for each of the 10 countries that has had nuclear weapons, you can tell a security-based story for why they were seeking to get those weapons in the first place. 
Even if security is not the real reason why a country is developing nuclear weapons, the security model is still important for understanding the narrative surrounding that development. Take Indira Gandhi as an example. When India tests in 1974, some suggest that the real reason for that test was because Indira Gandhi was facing domestic political turmoil. And thus, the weapon was being tested not because of direct security concerns with Pakistan or China, but rather because Indira Gandhi wanted a boost in her polling. But a leader can't actually do that sort of thing without having some sort of baseline justification for it. And security is a primary way of doing that. Of course, the nuclear weapon in the public sphere was touted as a peaceful nuclear explosion. But of course, the real message was being sent to Pakistan and China. And without Pakistan and China providing security concerns for India, Indira Gandhi couldn't go through with that test to perhaps gain some sort of domestic political leverage as a result. The security model is not perfect, though. Indeed, it tends to overpredict nuclear proliferation. Take Japan as an example. Japan had security concerns with both the Soviet Union and China. And had Japan acquired nuclear weapons, we could have easily chalked that up to the security model. But Japan did it. Similarly, South Korea has security concerns with North Korea and China. And if South Korea were to have acquired nuclear weapons, we could very easily pin it on that. West Germany had security concerns with the Soviet Union but didn't acquire nuclear weapons. And we've also talked about how Brazil and Argentina had a rivalry forming in the 1980s in South America, and yet they ultimately chose not to develop nuclear weapons. So the security model doesn't actually get at everything we might want it to. There are other reasons we need to explore why countries may or may not acquire nuclear weapons. And that's what we'll be continuing to do in this unit. I hope you enjoyed this lecture, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.